All right, so today I want to talk about NVM. Now, NVM stands for Node Version Manager. So if you've ever used Node, you've done any server-side programming or used Node for something else, you know that when you install Node, it comes with NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. So NPM, Node Package Manager, is for installing individual little packages that can run within your Node program. Now, when you first start, you'll generally go to the Node website and you'll look for the LTS, which is the long-term support version of Node. This is the one that's going to give you the longest term support. So it's the most stable version. It's the one that makes sense to use. It tends to be the even numbered versions that are the LTS ones. So version 18 and then 20, and now we're at 22 as the current version for Node. And VM is for multiple versions of Node installed on the same computer. So why would we want this? Well, like I was saying, when you first start out, you're starting out with the LTS version, the current version of Node. But as you go along, you will gradually start to encounter programs that need a different version of Node than the one that you have installed. So you can remove the one that you've got, install the accurate one, and then keep going back and forth between those, or you can install NVM, which is going to give you, like it shows right here, in the, uh, this is probably pretty small for you, so I'll zoom in a little bit. On the Node website itself, it even gives you the command. So if you're on Linux, Unix, Mac, so there is an NVM package. If you are on, so this is the actual website for NVM. So it's a GitHub repo. You can download it. They give you the install commands right here. So you can use uh, either curl or wget to install it. It'll download the shell script and run use bash to run the shell script to install the program. If you're on Windows, you can't do this. But if you have Windows subsystem for Linux installed on Windows, if that's activated, there is another one, NVM Windows, and this package you can actually download. There's a different URL. You can download that and install the, use the installer to install the Windows version of NVM. Then you're going to be able to do the same things that we're doing here. So both these, all three of these links, so the link to Node.js, NVM, and the Windows version of NPM, they're all down in the description. So if you need those, there they are. Now, I'm going to bring up my terminal window here and going to talk about what it's going to do. So in the terminal, once you have it installed, you can always find out, hey, what version am I running? Just to make sure that it is installed. I've installed this previously, but there we go. I have version 0.39.5 installed. It's not the latest. There's a, another pat, couple patch versions. So 0.39.7, I think is the, yeah. That's the current one that's you're going to get if you install here. Now, with NVM, we can take a look and say, okay, right now on my computer, do I have any versions installed? So LS is going to give me a list. It'll say, okay, here are the two versions, or the three versions rather, that I have installed on here. So I've got version 16.19, 20.11, and system. The default version is set to this one right here, the 16.9. Now, the default version means each time I open up a new terminal window, so if I open up another terminal, or I actually, we'll go new window. There we go, so I have another one. Now, no, I'm not gonna update that right now. So if I check inside of here, nvm dash dash version, as you would expect, that is going to be installed. And I can change the version in this terminal window. So from here, I can say nvm, I want to use, or sorry, let's check current. There it is, the default version, 16.19.1. That is the one that I've got installed by default in every terminal that I open. To switch, just NVM use, and you can pick any of the other versions. Now you can write it with or without the V in front of it. So I can say V 20.11.1, or just use 20.11.1. And 
There we go. Now we are using version 20 of Node inside of here. So NVM current is version 20. Over here, NVM current 16. So important to remember that whatever the default version is, every time you open a terminal window, that's the version that you're going to have by default. Now, if you want to change that, if you want it to always be the new one or the newer of the ones, whichever one you use most frequently, if you want to change that, there is a command that we can use called MVM alias default. And then we specify which is the version that we want to use. So I'm going to change it to 20.11.1. There we are. So the default has now been set to this, which is an alias for this. There we go. Now, if I open up another terminal window, so new window terminal, and this works in VS Code as well. Every time you open up a new tab window in VS Code, so maybe you've got Z Shell installed and you're opening new terminal windows to do stuff. Remember, every time you open up the new ter terminal window, you are going to have that default version. So NVM current in the new one, it's version 20. Okay, so that's what we have as the default set now. We know we did the NVM LS to show that we've got those ones. If we want to add a new version, so let's say, hey, 22.2.0, that's the current one. Oh, I want to install that. So let's clear this window. We'll say NVM install 22.2.0. That will install it. Or you can say dash dash LTS, give the LTS flag. That'll be the latest version. Now, 20.14.0 is the latest LTS version. NVM install 22. Sorry, node is another uh, shortcut. You can type in the 22.2.0 or use the word node, and that will be the current latest version of node. So if we go to our other window here, clear that out, and we're going to, now that we've done these installs, we can say NVM LS, and there we have it. So now we have version 16, version 20.11, 20.14 and 22.2 as well as the system version. So those are all the different versions that we have installed of Node. So I would encourage you to install NVM, set it up with the version of Node that you're going to be using for pretty much everything, and just get used to having it there because you will at some point encounter another version. Now, if you want to have it just for the occasional use, um, there's also nvm dash dash help. That will bring up this. So all the commands listed inside of here, everything that you can do from the command line with nvm, it's all listed in the help documentation. But I wanted to highlight a couple of things here. Um, so install and use, those are the ones that you're going to go, oh, okay, what was the command to do that? That's the one you'll come back to most of all. But there is another one here that's very useful, the nvm run. Now, even if you're going to do 99.9% .9 of your work with a specific version of Node, and it's like, okay, well, why would I have NVM? I'm doing everything with this one version of Node. If you will just occasionally encounter a version requirement for a different version of Node for one particular app that you're building, you can also do this. So NVM run and then the other specific version. So you can install the other version and then use that version to run your script, your app, whatever it is. So it gives you the ability to do that without actually having to um, manage all the versions and think about it all the time. So you can use that. There we go. So you can run your app using a specific version of Node. And the one last thing that I'll say, just this note down at the bottom. If you're tired of using NVM, you want to go back to just using the regular version of Node all by yourself, 
all you have to do is find that folder in your user directory, the .nvm folder, and delete it. Done. You have now gotten rid of NVM and all the versions of Node that it had installed. So very easy to get rid of if you don't want it. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful. I do encourage you to try it out. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. I answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.